Hello everybody and welcome back to another Abigail Page Designs YouTube video. Today we're trying a little bit of a different style of vlog. I normally do pretty categorized so if you're here to watch organizing then you click on an organizing video. If you're here to watch cleaning then you click on a cleaning video. But I do all those things every day anyways so I thought it may be kind of fun especially this summer on my weekends to just take you guys along and do this kind of more relaxed vlog style. Instead of having like, you know, just gardening, just organizing, just cleaning, you're going to get to see just what I do on my weekends, honestly, which is organize, clean, and garden. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I also study for my real estate class, but that's that's boring. You don't want to see that. <laughs> so I'm starting this vlog off outside, and that is because I was going to move the banana pup, one of the banana tree pups today. I already moved one, and I'm not sure it's going to make it, and I'm kind of sad, but you know what? It's trial and error. I have said that from the beginning. I'm doing everything that I can to keep it alive, but I just have this like gut feeling that it's, I didn't take enough corm. So, and if you're wondering what corm is, that's basically part of the mother plant. Uh, Cause when I was describing this to my mom, she was like, what the heck is corm? But you have to get part of the actual mom plant and kind of like separate it, separate it right down the middle. And so, I don't think I took enough of the mom's roots in the corm to really have the baby survive on its own because it needs to establish its own roots, its own corm. So when I go to move baby two and three, I'm going to be very, 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 very careful and I'm going to really look at what kind of tool I could use to really get in there. A garden shovel just was no help at all. But then I decided that the baby number two that I was going to move today is still a little bit tiny. I think I'm going to wait until there's three leaves that have fully developed before I move it. I think that might help too in my cutting it away from the mom plant. Then I noticed that my pepper is getting extremely large for my actual pepper plant, like the pepper bush. So I'm actually, I don't know much about Hungarian uh, peppers. I'm going to look up if this pepper is mature and I need to like pluck it off because I think it might be stunting the pepper plant's growth. It's ready. I was like, heck, I want to film me plucking my first pepper <laughs> off of that plant. Other thing I got to do, it'll be probably pretty quick, but I have to transfer the last two basil into a bigger pot. I waited on two of the basil plants in the red solo cups because they weren't quite big enough yet, uh, but now they are and it's time to move them. So let's do some gardening. And there you have it, my first pepper. My mouth is watering looking at this. I cannot wait to eat it.
pepper plant is plucked and my basil is transferred to a bigger pot. As you can tell by my rosy cheeks, oh, I love working in the greenhouse. It feels so good to just be in warmth. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I will catch up with you guys later. I'm going to go paint my awful nails because they need it really badly. everybody it is thursday aka my sunday and i basically just did a bunch of cleaning and just the everyday chores this morning i meal prepped a little bit and i cleaned my guinea pigs cage i took care of some garden work and now i'm having a little snack but i wanted to film myself trying the hot pepper for the first time. I'm so excited about this little guy and I was like, no, I have I have to film it. <laughs> All right. I'm hungry, so one, two, three. It's got a little kick. Not gonna lie, but you know what? I can handle heat, so I don't recommend trying this at home if you do not like spicy food. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I love the way it like literally makes your mouth water and not everybody has, like my tongue never burns or my ears never burn. I've never been uncomfortable. It always just makes me feel warm. <laughs> But yeah, not bad. I am going to enjoy the rest of this and the rest of my snack. Then I'm gonna head outside for a little bit, get some fresh air, and 
yeah, the rest of the afternoon is pretty chill. I gotta do my guinea pig's birthday, so I'll probably film a couple clips of that. She turned five, and I am just, ugh. Oh, She's getting old. I made her a special birthday cake and everything, so I'm so excited. My sister and I are gonna do it together because she has a guinea pig too. Yeah, I am sure I will see you guys later. All right, it is later on in the day. Ugh, it just got bombarded by a bug, but I uh, just went out to the greenhouse again and squirted everybody down with some soapy water. Oh my gosh, go away. Because I like to make sure that I'm keeping bugs away at all times. So I normally spray them once a day. It helps with gnats and it's just soapy water, nothing else. Like literally just soap water in a squirt bottle. I normally make up a new batch every single week, and then I also sometimes do fungicide, uh, the all-natural one, just if it's been kind of a wet week. Oh my gosh, why won't it leave me alone? I'm moving. So, yeah, that is normally my Sunday, quote-unquote, Thursday gardening routine. I just like to take extra nice care of everybody because I don't really have time throughout the week and I want to make sure that my plants as well as myself is ready for you know the crazy week ahead. I am going inside right now. Here's the cake guys. So the frosting is blended up oats and water and then strawberries to make it uh thick I guess so you blend them up and then you strain it and it's kind of a long process but it's worth it and then I put some strawberries on top just because I thought it would look cute and the cake is actually a dehydrated carrot oat banana cake so I don't know we'll see if they like it ready for your birthday cake she's ready of course they go for the toppings first that's my girls so what do you think of the strawberries? You gotta try the cake, sillies. Oh, oh, she took a bite. What you think? First thoughts. Whoa, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, eerie. Oh, that's gonna be a mess on the floor. Well, the cake ended up on the floor. Go me. Now we're going to have messy oat frosting, <laughs> but it's okay. They are loving it. 